Next, I'd like to talk about setup and performance using Auto Picture Mode and Apple TV product. Thank you, Patrick. And uh, so, you know, the ultimate luxury is ease of operation and automatic picture mode select gives you that. And it's really unique uh, and it's very effective. So you're gonna go to the second page in the JVC projector menu and you're gonna look for auto pick mode select. And, and then there's four categories in there. You're gonna find uh, SDR 2D, which I recommend you set to natural. You're gonna find SDR 3D, if your customer uses 3D, uh, put in a user preset, otherwise you can just leave that on last setting. You're gonna find HDR 10, and you're gonna set that to frame adapt HDR. And you know, have you ever seen the Dolby Vision title, Patrick? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, and you know, people, people are always asking, hey, does JVC work with Dolby Vision? And my response is, yeah, it's the best possible picture you can get with any Dolby Vision content because the JVC projector and the streaming device or the Blu-ray player are smart, and Dolby Vision is built on a base layer of HDR10, so it's gonna see that HDR10 signal, it's gonna switch into frame adapt HDR automatically, and it's going to dynamically tone map that content. And I know I prefer, and I believe you also prefer, this, the frame by frame. Exactly, adjustment. right. So it analyzes each, in, in, each frame individually. Exactly. And, and the fourth category in there is HLG. And of course, you're gonna set it to HLG. And then the magic behind all this is JVC is smart enough to recognize each of these signal types automatically and switch to that auto picture mode preset that you have chosen. So then the other component of this is if you have a streaming box. And I'm gonna use Apple TV as an example but the, what we're going to talk about really can apply to almost any brand of streaming box. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the signal type. And you might think we need to, we want 4K HDR. Uh, but no, we don't. We want to pick 4K SDR as our default. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down to the match function. And in the match function, we are gonna turn on match frame rate and match dynamic range. Match dynamic range is really the key. Uh, anything that's HDR, it's gonna play as HDR. But anything that's SDR, it's gonna leave as SDR. It's not gonna try and take a TV show from 50 years ago and turn it into fake HDR, which we would not want. Because that looks horrible. It does look horrible. I don't want to see Gilligan's Island in fake HDR. Um, so now match frame rate is simpler. Uh, it's going to keep cinematic content at 24 frames per second. And it's going to keep, you know, assuming that's what it was filmed at. And it's going to keep most video content at 60 frames per second, which is, of course, what it would be filmed at. The, the other things you're going to see in the menu, uh, uh, in terms of color, you're going to see an option for 444 color or 420. 444 sounds awesome in theory, but the reality is there is no content uh, that's currently available that way. So 420 is all you need. That's where I have mine set. And uh, you know, if you're having any problems with your HDMI cables, do check that. And if it's on 444, change it to 420. And speaking of HDMI, there's a really nice little HDMI check utility in the Apple TV. And if you're having any HDMI issues, I encourage you to use that. So basically, once you got that done, you got a whole world of streaming content to enjoy on your new JVC DILA projector. And it's dialed in thoughtlessly. Once it's dialed in, it's done. You don't have to worry about changing anything. Fully automatic. Thanks for watching.